catches, puts up the three. Won't go. Rebound, Bosch. Back out to Allen. His three pointer. Bang! Tie game with one Oh, oh yeah. We packing somebody up oh. tonight. Come on in, take your shoes off before we close the door. Oh. Few rules, heat pack in the air. We about to blow. This the basement. Ain't nobody say you already know. Oh. Grab a seat and kick your feet before you get too comfortable. You want the X's and the O's. The tray, yes and no. Oh. Friends and the foes. The butlers and the heroes. You can feel it in your soul. But when the ring is the goal. But if somebody need to go, we be sure to let you know. Oh. Going hard for my dogs is an everyday thing. Oh. Like Jimmy down the lane of 13 off the screen. Oh. Whole squad keep it tucked like number 17. Oh. Bring your takes and your memes. Going hard for the team. Oh. Ah, going down in the basement. Oh. Oh. Ah, it's going down in the basement. Oh. Get your takes off. Get your, get your takes off. Oh. Ah, going down in the basement. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to the Basement Sports Network post game show. I'm your host, Royal A. Shepard. Like my boy, Ed Irwin, tell y'all right now. He say the road to 2,900 subscribers. I keep saying we on the road to 3K and beyond, but we got to hit the milestones where we can hit them. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe here. If you are not already liking this video, make sure you leave us a like for the content. Brother, 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 we will not be before you long <laughs> because the heat did not show up tonight. So we did not feel the need to present a full post game show. Somebody said, I'm missing Boy Wonder right now. <laughs> Wrong again. I'm missing Duncan Robinson tonight. That is who I'm missing. But Miami dropped this game to the New Orleans Pelicans. They didn't just drop. They got their teeth kicked in. 111 to 88. Again, not scoring anywhere close to 100 points. Worst offensive game of the season. Pull it up with me one time. Is my game. One of the co-captains of the basement. My boy Kane Kendall. Kendall. Shitty offensive game, bro. Like, just go ahead and give me a quick thoughts on what happened. Bro, I ain't got no player back breakdowns, bro. I ain't, I ain't individualizing nobody, bro. <laughs> what this franchise and that front office is continue to get away with, bro, is downright an abomination. And you see it like it's like a pimple, bro. That like you don't want to pop, and then it's like they just let that bit swell up, and then when it turned white, they just at one day they just decide like, should I? And they just squeeze a little bit, and they, but they're like, nah. And the, they did a little bit this year, and it, that was Kyle Lowry. Got him out of here. Bro, like, what they have doing to, like, two niggas who are not in that realm to carry, like, a team in a manner on, on the offensive end, bro, like, in Jimmy and Bam, bro, is downright ridiculous. At first, I was on their ass, bro. Like, I was really on their ass because they was both shitty as fuck. This lady owes me two thousand dollars, y'all. Um, <laughs> let's hold her accountable, just like we're gonna do the Heat front office. But Bro, anyway. I was, I was going when you was like, it's like a pimple that's turning white, and I was about to say, speaking of turning white, we finna go ahead and, and that's how I was gonna introduce us, the pimple in the basement. <laughs> but, yeah. I, but I'm gonna let you get. I'm oh, gonna, I like, like that the pimple of the basement, <laughs> Jessica Landsberg, the only individual I know that will rock Gator and UM gear with no change. <laughs> Talking about, I got a degree from both schools. <laughs> Fuck out of here, nigga. I like, get it. <laughs> which is even sadder. Nasty work. Oh, and she a Michigan fan, too. I don't know how, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm spraying on you. You guys want the whole... Should I actually use this time to talk about... <laughs> no, you should go life. back on mute because a real nigga was talking. So do that. Uh, <laughs> I love you, Jess. Not really, but yeah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, bro, like, what they done to these two boys, like, is it's insane, bro. Like, and they was, they was dog shit in that first half, bro. Straight up, I was like, somebody, they got to step up, you know, Ben, Jimmy, y'all got to step up, do more in that third quarter. And then it just happened over again, bro. Um, Hey, bro. The rest of the season, we going to be, <laughs> like, yeah. every game, every game, maybe not we. But at least me, yeah. I come. I give you a couple minutes. Like if it's just me, then I give you a couple minutes. But I'll be here good. for every game for the rest of the season. I didn't be on the Lucas Black ass. But I appreciate you. <laughs> um, yeah, bro. Like, and then like, bro, it wasn't even. 
it wasn't even on no shit where like they best players. Well, CJ, yeah, got going offensively, but like Zion ain't do nothing, bro. Nothing. And and that's when it hit me, bro. When I was like, bro, I'm not finna sit here and kill like the players, bro. Like, bro, that exactly James out with a two dollar don't know. Zion was held to four points. We lost by 20, bro. Like, that's when I noticed that, bro. Like, I was like, I'm not finna sit here and call out Jimmy and call out Bam and Bro, it's like this team does not care about winning, bro. And when I say the team, the front office does not care about winning at all, bro. And they gonna do the little dance, make a little uh, get down tonight in the playoffs. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised, no. And they gonna fool some people with that shit, bro. Like, and it's like it sucks, bro, because like the media don't pay attention to us. The only people who pay attention to this team through like in and out is us. Because when I see us on ESPN, they talking about oh, they missing a big third three entirely hero. And it's just like that is not that big because we have literally won the same amount of games without him than we have with him. We have a better record without him than we do with him, bro. And it's like it's sad, bro. It's disgusting. And you see it tonight, bro. Like niggas couldn't hit niggas couldn't hit anything. I don't know what big thing you want to insert here. Caleb well, Martin. Well, don't insert here, but insert over there. Big <laughs> item insert over there. Like they couldn't hit it. I know, I know it. you you're not individualizing, but Caleb Martin, zero for eight, zero for seven from three. <laughs> like what a dribble! Go to Hami Hakez, bro. <laughs> one for seven, one for five from three. Three points. Like at least he made a shot. <laughs> <laughs> but it, really? Thank you, Dan Phil Jim for the five dollar donor. The first this crappy weather, then my owls lose in stupid fashion. Haha. <laughs> and now this this day sucks as clap in between each word, bro. I'm a half-ass too because <laughs> niggas want to half-ass try to win a championship. Fuck it, I'm a half-ass too. Fuck it. Well, well, why, who should be giving full effort in regards to the Miami Heat today? Nobody. Somebody with a two dollar dono. He said Swider more points than Bam and Caleb combined. But brother Cole Swider's fourth quarter moved me. That's my starting shooting guard. Now nah, my narrative going. If the rest of them gonna look like this, I'm starting Cole Swider over Patty Mills. <laughs> why not? Hey, bro. Oh, why not? Can't can't. We the nigga just team just got an upset yesterday. Can Jamal yeah. Kane get on the on on the on the on the game in the game? He got three. He got three minutes there, and, and then those I three minutes those. Though, I turned it off. I turned it off with like eight minutes left. So I I have no clue that he played. But even in his little three minutes, bro, like oh, he, he looked. Yeah, Jamal Kane. He played three minutes, but like in his three minutes, like he got up three shots, and bro looked like he was still like having more success than we was having with. Kane. I don't know. I felt like he was more impactful in his three minutes than Caleb was in his 17. That's that's how I felt about Jamal Kane. Want to thank Ray Blount with the 499. Don't know. Curious question. If we don't make the playoffs, will we be in the lottery? No, we're going to make the play in. So we're not going to be a lottery team, bro. Since nah, I think if you, miss it, if you miss the playoffs, you go to the lottery. We didn't make the playoffs last year. And we Oh, yeah, if we lose the play-in game. Yeah, if we lose the play game, I, I was talking about initially. Like, and they saying we that Rob season. Dillingham is like gonna get dropped on boards, and like his punishment might be like he might get drafted by Miami since he got that's smoked a, by that twenty-seven year old yesterday. That's a great punishment for me, <laughs> brother. Them cool hoops move me. Jason Terry, who uh, Haroon Gill with the one with the one ninety nine. Don't know. He said, "Waste of time, Miami." Heat. Oh, one thousand percent, Jess. First of all, how are you doing today? Kendall was so mean to you Hi. when you started talking, bro. Like, I'm not going to dick eat because, you know. But, like, I want, I want to make sure that you, that you know that you are appreciated here by some of us. I got um, called a pimple the second I got here. I wasn't saying I, – I didn't say I was one of the people that appreciated you. I'm just saying that there are some people <laughs> in this network that do Your appreciate you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just tight shit. But uh want to know, like, how you doing today, first of all, and then what are your thoughts on the game? I'm all right. I'm all right. Okay. I mean, you know, Gators tough tough loss earlier. Um, just want I just want to put it out there for for all the haters. I uh, 
my dad, my aunt and my uncle all went to UF. Uh, my grandma and my grandpa went to Michigan. So that's where some of that comes from. I, I went to FIU after I transferred from Barry personally, but then I went to UM for business school. So so I am a UM grad. So I have different allegiances. Oh, get the um, fuck out of that biography bag and get <laughs> <laughs> I need a platform where I can defend myself, okay? Defend these $50 from the nasty man. That boy said, no Migos today. No, sir. Uh, You got got a gator down there with you. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, I'm supposed to talk about the game? (laughs) Because he's not wrong. (laughs) He is not wrong. He's always spitting facts. This is my, my favorite follow on Twitter, I think. Um, Justo? Yeah, Justo, Justo just, he just gets it, man. His tweets just make me laugh. Um, this game was horrible. At, uh, on the Caleb Martin topic. Sure, boy, you know, boy. You have I, a I, usual I, alliance to losers. <laughs> That's not like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We're going to get through this, guys. Are, are we, are we do- <laughs> I don't know. Ping. Ping. We're sorry. Ping. We're sorry. Ping. This game was so terrible. We're gonna, but we're gonna talk about it. Go ahead, Jeff. Listen, I don't. There, there's not a lot to say. Um, I, I've said this before, but Caleb Martin took the like short-term memory thing like too seriously in basketball about like, oh, miss a shot and just like you know, like to to have the. I don't know if the word is like confidence, but to shoot seven threes and <laughs> none of them have like. I just, I, I, I'm not sure I understand how it, I wouldn't have never, I would have never taken eight shots to be honest. Maybe that's just me, but I'm like, yeah, he was just, they, they were all, you can't be competitive in a game like that. Just playing like that. There's just, there's just no way. I mean, there was never any chance when we were playing the way that we were and you have Jimmy and Bam having just a non-existent game also along with the rest of the team. It was like, who was going to, no one ever showed that they were going to, step up and actually put the team on their back for this game. I don't know if we're like severely missing Duncan Robinson or if that or Tyler, or if that all coincided with Jimmy and Bam playing like this, you know, against a team that I thought we, we could actually beat um, that we did beat last time. I, I don't know. Hi, Jim. Well, the high myth. I mean, hi, <laughs> you guys did that to yourself. Okay. The fan base that said, Hyman's about to be like superstar level, like off like four games. Like, and I'm not going to act like none of us were like excited, but that went like way too. And again, this is what I say on like the Tyler hero topic too. Like all of this is about managing expectations. And when you, you bring the bar somewhere more reasonable where you're no longer expecting, I don't know, Tyler to play more than half the season in the playoffs or, you know, do X, Y, Z in a certain game. Like you stop being so disappointed. Like you're just like, it is what it is. Like I've honestly sat here and I've been like, yeah, you know, some nights I'm like, damn, it would be good to have Tyler. But I'm like, that's not like, it's not going to be the death of me. You know, like, it's like, he, he, he just, we're at a point now where we just got to come to terms with like what it is, you know? And like, I'm at like, we, we never should have been relying on a rookie that we took a chance on to carry this team anyway. So now when he's rookieing, you can't be like, damn, he sucks. He doesn't suck. Like, he, he's not doing what we maybe got excited about and thought he was going to do for us at the moment. But he doesn't suck. Like, he's a decent basketball player. He's just a rookie. He's not supposed to be carrying this team on his back. We didn't even know if he was good. Like, it, it, we were just surprised. <laughs> but see, that's that's the thing, and I see a lot of people here. They want us to talk about Jimmy. They want us to talk about how many. And I'm I'm more along the approach of like what Kendall was talking about, where it's like I can't talk about anybody on this roster unless I'm going to talk about everybody tonight. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I did, we, we were in a culture shock halftime space. Like people were talking about Jimmy. I was like, well, you can't give Jimmy this smoke and then not give it to Bam. But then like Kendall reminded me, like Bam's doing his job on Zion. But, but Bam's, still, always, like, Bam's always doing his job on defense. You can't even get after him like the rest of the team. It's like no one else is that impactful on the other side of the court that you can you can just be like, oh well, like you know he he did this and whatever, but he missed all these shots. Like it just it just no one but, has that impact on defense where you're actually like keeping their best player to like single digits, whatever he had. Like yeah, you guys are here letting CJ McCollum drop thirty on your head. The Jose Alvarado game. Like, 
the well the, the problem is like I get it. Like man's value on defense does at times mitigate kind of the lack of production that you get on offense, but it can't always like it. And that's, that's the problem. Like I can't always be like, well, at least bad play defense. Like, no, like I, I got to hold him accountable for what he does on the offensive end and he ain't do shit tonight. So like that, that's kind of like the, yeah. the whole thing that everybody got. James Todd, thank you for the $5. Don't know. Said more than anything. I need Jimmy to stop with the hot takes, please. Got Najee retweeting the February 23rd tweet from Jimmy after we got dog walk. Come on, man. Jimmy Butler is the king of the clip. Like, he'll give you a clip-worthy quote and then nothing to support said quote. Mendelf's Isma with the $3 don't know. He said, man, after that talk, bam, 3-0. I'll take him where I can get him. Like, I, 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 yeah, he got he went one for two. Like, I enjoy the fact, yeah, I enjoy the fact that Bam is now at this point at least comfortable attempting the three. I'm not going to like I'm not gonna be through the moon about Bam taking threes in 20 point losses. Like I whatever, bro. Like if it becomes a legit part of his game, then let it come organically. I don't want him out there forcing up threes or whatever, but it is nice to see him hitting uh, a couple of threes. Uh, Kendall, bro, what was the main problem offensively? I know, like, they couldn't shoot or whatever, but is that like a – is that a shot selection thing? Is that a Duncan Robinson missing thing? Is that a Duncan Tyler, Kevin Love combination missing thing? Like, those are our essentially three best shooters. Like, what was it tonight that kind of hindered, hindered them from, like, getting the offense off the ground? New Orleans got black people <laughs> that can move their feet, have black people in Larry Nance – and white folks who type shit, who um, who look like white people that want to be black, and Jonas Valanciunas, aka Travis Kelsey, um, bro, niggas can move their feet over there, got long arms, and, and they can move side to side, bro. And the issue isn't, oh, we were just shooting threes, like. Yeah, the fact the issue I guess was that they was missing three. <laughs> Wimby funny as hell. <laughs> this nigga just shot like a fadeaway 35 footer. <laughs> he tried to make it for game. <laughs> Down Victor to with me. Bro, Victor with me, Yama is elite and ridiculous all at the same time. Yeah. For sure. But um <laughs> bro, it's it the, the issue is no talent, bro. Like I don't know if people noticed. With him not playing, but Duncan Robinson is literally our second best pick and roll player, and he's not a pick and roll player. <laughs> so, bro, like literally, the game started off very smooth, low key. They hit Bam on two pocket passes for a mid range shot, and Willie Green said, "Hmm." No more of that. <laughs> Two, three zone. <laughs> Have at it, Mike. <laughs> it couldn't nobody put it. Can't nobody just put the ball down and beat a man to a spot with regularity. The only time we're beating people off the dribble is if we're swinging the basketball. And they just decided once that two, three zone happened, we just going to shoot threes. We're not going to try to hit bam at the elbow at the free throw line so we can run actions off of it. And then from there, they said first quarter ended. Bam stayed on the bench for 10 minutes or so <laughs> for some reason. Didn't come back into the game until shit was ugly. And, bro, and they just kept shooting threes. And it just, like, and then third quarter, Jimmy would just hold the ball because he doesn't want to attack the person who's guarding him because of what I said earlier. Not attempt in the first half. Another turnover for Utah. Edwards gets it back. When we get it, this fan base, <laughs> this fan base will lose their mind. They will learn ball, brother. Once they we get one of them, it will be an epiphany. Be an like that was still a touchy, we just, touchy just subject. A team. Um, I'm not going to say that um, they're not a good team, but I, I don't think this really matters. Uh, I think that you know when we get them on our home court, it's going to be a different game. I hope that they're healthy, and uh, it's going to be the same outcome. I think our, our team is. Oh, God. We are trash. Uh, can you put up that? that yeah. 
this line, this line ass comment from Shaq. Shaq, I think we screenshotted you like five times last year. Talk about you were gonna give us a thousand dollars. I do remember you pulled up one time, and I think you did give us five hundred one time. So I will say that you did honor your word once. But he said, screenshot this. Everybody, make sure y'all do this. Put it on Twitter for us. Tag the basement in it at basement sports in. But you Shaq, need to be the, you need to be the last one taking the photo. <laughs> Kendall, if he gives it to me, I'm going to give it to you, and that's going to count again. <laughs> you will not be receiving any of those funds. You uh, what not- you talk- Brother, when that money gets donated, it will be deposited into an account that you have zero access to unless I cash up you some money. You are Shax, not a stakeholder <laughs> here. Uh, but Shaq, he said, screenshot this. If the Miami Heat goes to the NBA Finals, I'm donating $1,000. Listen, y'all screenshot this. Shaq, you need to put your Twitter handle on here so we can tag your ass too. But make sure y'all screenshot this, tag us in it on the basement's Twitter uh, just so that we can have a record of it. The boy Juice still said Shaq just saved $1,000, which he did. Uh, James Todd, again, with the $5, I don't know. He said in the fourth quarter, we had a lineup of Tom- Thomas Bryant, DeLon Wright, Jaime Hawkins, Cole Swatter, and Haywood Hot Smith. 2024 Miami Heat, everyone. He was dead Probably. ass, bro. Like, bro, I thought Bam was going to start the fourth. I was like, okay, whatever. No. <laughs> what nasty man with the $50? I don't know. He said, screenshot this, Shaq. Give 1K. I'm going to tax right off 1K. <laughs> My boy is playing 3D chess out here with these donations, brother. Y'all better learn. Learn from him. Ben Delphs is, but with the $2, don't know. He said, win or lose, I have a Bam 3 commitment to Basement Sports Network. Hey, brother. If you're going to give us money every time Bam hits a three, then that could be your new stigma, brother. Every time he hit a three, make sure you come in here, drop us a dono, and we'll make sure they acknowledge that. What's up? Bro? Brother, you can't be dropping $2 for a three-pointer. It at least got to be $3. Yeah. You see, bro? This is why this is a partnership here, brother. You know what I mean? Sometimes we got to have other people step in and hold you fuckers accountable. For the rules and regulations of how shit go around here. I don't have anything really that I wanted to talk about from this game. I told y'all bitches that I was going to do a 25-minute show. And I've laughed enough for 25 minutes talking about the Miami Heat. Jess, is there anything else that you would like to talk about from this game before we move on to the next one? I don't care what it is. Individual player, themes, holistic views. Feel free. Uh, you know... And we started yeah, Patty Mills. That press loud as fuck. We, we, we started Patty Mills in the year 2024. Um, every time we we look good at the start of the game, th- this happens. Uh, someone did say that on Twitter also that I saw, and I was like, it it, it it's a real it's a real curse. Um, this franchise, I've been one of the defenders of Pat. One of the Spo doesn't get a lot of heat because the, the whole acquisitions not so much on Spo's head but um the tides are turning a little bit um as i watch you know these games we're, we're down to 12 games. twist them hips turn on them uh, I, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna slander him too much you're not gonna get me up on a, <laughs> no speed recordings or anything but uh yeah, this is just not this is not a, a roster that you can expect to compete with in this league. I mean, and the fact that we're here like in the year 2024 saying, damn, Kevin Love and, and Duncan, you know, like that that would have been the difference. And like it's just a sad reality. Like it's not wrong. It's just like it it's just crazy. Like to me, like I know, ta- but but we have no timetable for. Ta- so it's like, what do you, what do you expect him to do? What's he going to come in and do? We're going to try the, the 150th different lineup on this team, and like just like we're starting from scratch. It feels like every single game. Uh, it, it just sucks. I I think I don't know what the standings look like at this point. I, I'm assuming, like you said, we're probably going to be in a play-in now. Is that where we're at? Uh, right now, we're currently the seventh seed. We were a half a game behind Indiana for the sixth seed, and Indiana plays Golden State. So, uh, if you want to still have a shot at that sixth seed, you you'll be a big uh, Golden State fan tonight. You hope Golden State beats Indiana, remains a uh, half game back at the sixth seed. But yeah, we're seventh right now. Okay, yeah, and and like twelve games to go. I mean, again, I don't I don't know what the rest of our schedule looks like. I don't know, but it's like this was exactly the opposite of what we were supposed to be doing in this final 
stretch if we wanted to be in a, in a good position for once, not have to fight for our life, not play two playing games again. And we have just totally shit the bed. I don't know what's happened in the last like 10 games, 11 games, however long the stretch has been, but we just look bad. Like we, and, and we've seen, we've seen some bad mm-hmm. even this season, but w- there was a moment where it was like, things were kind of looking up, you know, and uh, th- it's just, there, there's no defending them and there's no like real like explanation for it anymore. It's just like, Something, something switched and, and and not, not in a good way, not in the, you know, Jimmy calendar meme way. Like this is not, that is not what has happened. Like I haven't seen, I, I saw one whenever Jimmy dropped like 30 or whatever the other night. But other than that, it's like, we just look, we just look disheveled. They look flat. They can't shoot. They can't, they're, they're, they don't space well. Like, it's just like, we don't play good defense other than bam. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's not looking good. So my man D Farrell, uh, he said injuries play a big factor. Um, I agree. And shout out to and shout out to Playbook Sports. Uh, make sure you got you follow those guys on Twitter. Uh, they're they're pretty dope. Um, and they 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 were partnered with us on early in the year on our giveaways for the systems. So yeah, shout out to those boys. But yeah, uh, injuries do play a big factor in the way this team is. I agree, but it's also kind of like we were told that this team was deeper. Like we were supposed to be able to overcome some of these injuries. And the biggest injury of them all is Tyler Hero, and we overcame that one with Duncan. But it feels like Duncan goes out, the team is way worse. Like Kevin Love feels like he's more important. To it's what like, this what team injuries does. are we talking about? Because we're not talking about Josh Richardson, right? Because <laughs> can we all agree? Like, so it's like, are we really talking about the impact of missing Duncan and missing Tyler and missing Kevin Love? Which I don't even know what the Tyler impact is at this point. You know yes, what I mean? I like, think- I think you gotta you gotta throw Jay Rich in there, bro. Like we watching Patty Mills and, and DeLon Wright play mm-hmm. on our team. So I think Josh Richardson, you know, he's no John Collins. Um, but you know, we definitely have we <laughs> I can't do anything, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That boy, that boy, that boy, he don't contest it, bro. Like, never, never live that down ever. You got a head contusion and a concussion off again. <laughs> posters, I respect it because I would have wanted to get off that court. Hey, too listen, late, I've said this if, if Claxton could put on like 50 pounds, you can slide him over. Trust me, he can't. But I, I don't want to hear the injury talk just due to the fact that, like, this was a choice, it was a choice. They, for three years, have sat here and tried to promote someone who is not equipped to play a full season of NBA basketball. They've given him money. They've given him a starting position. And they pushed him into a light and into, like, a pecking order in which he was important. Um, It was a choice for them to not go get um, Drew Eubanks, who signed for the fucking minimum in Phoenix. It was a choice for them to stay with Kayla Martin, who fucking sucks and is not better than Kelly Oubre at NBA basketball. <laughs> and to stay with Haywood Highsmith, who's not good at NBA basketball. It was a choice for them to, to say, you know what? We're gonna stay with uh just just Tyler and Duncan at the two at the two. Uh why pick up a Malik Beasley who's shown you if he does not get traded midseason, he shoots 38% from three. We're not going to go get that. Nah, we're not going to sign a Dennis Smith Jr. who signed for the fucking minimum. We're going to sit here and stay with Drew Pocahontas Smith. Okay. And then when he busts his shit into his his shit, he gets hurt. But we're going to stay with Kyle Lowry um, instead of, you know, trying to get a, a, a Drew Smith. So, and then Kyle Lowry tends to give you, um, brother... <laughs> Let's not talk about people who got hit by vehicles because <laughs> we have a madman out here who just also roots for, <laughs> and we have a woman up here on this panel who absolutely roots for and has a whole agenda. She has a Haywood Hardwood agenda, and it's crazy. Um, but let me finish. <laughs> highway agenda that she got out here. <laughs> Roadrunner, not get that boy an ATV and Justin Herm going wild out. They chose to stay with Kyle Lowry until he gave him attitude and was talking too much shit. 
and then decided to attach a first round pick to an expiring contract. Where have we heard Miami attaching picks to expiring contracts before? For and just, and Royal, just two years ago, Roy Lowry was supposed to be a needle mover because they gave him 30 mil. Now, two years later, we attach a first round picks to get him up out of town because For he Terry got- Rose here. It, listen, that's the one move you're gonna tell. There were people in this fan base saying, Oh, we're getting rid of Lowry and like and Terry and, and I bro. Anybody all we need is an upgrade over Lowry. Anybody is an upgrade for I don't care how he played against us and all his little his vengeance and whatever. Like but just that man like, sucks. Like, yes, like, absolutely. But you could have got the upgrade in the offseason. Hey, hey, Tyler Hero, if you don't go into a hyperbolic chamber or something with your brittle body ass. Come I don't on, even bro. know, like Tyler. I don't even know what like Eat I, your I the other day. I'm just like I'm indifferent on the Tyler thing. Like I don't know what to like tell people anymore. I don't know. I don't know what he looks like when he gets back. I don't know what happens. I don't know how it, it's incorporated. And we just like I just don't know. I don't. Now, just know, know that's okay if they don't. If it's for like some real good players, but like that is a I crazy thing to think. I don't think it yeah. will. Be. No, Lowry was never a needle mover. Oh no, but that's what they that's what they that's that's what they that's what they sold us. I got a couple of comments that we missed. Yeah, got a couple of comments that we uh missed earlier. Nasty Man gave us three dollars and said my tax write off for BAM three is gonna be nice, insane. Matthew with the two dollar dono, he said this team gives me a headache. Love the podcast though. Appreciate all your support, appreciate all the people who are here watching us now. Make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the basement sports network, follow us on all these many different platforms that we're trying to push right now. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them. That's stupid. Thank you, Alex Campbell with the 499. Don't know. He said, it is only right that Patty Mills is on the cover of the album that officially puts a heat bill in the dirt. Brother, Patty Mills on the front of an album cover is insane. Mendos, again, with the $2 don't know. He said, I already did the three. Keep up. Keep up. Hey, brother. He called you pussy, essentially, Kendall, and I'm going to let him do it for them $2. Dan the Film Gen again with the $2 dono. We didn't say it on your other one, but consistency is key, ladies and gentlemen. He said, this team is overheated. They frustrate me. Uh, overheated, overrated, overhyped, like over-discussed. Like, I feel like that the fact that we have so many podcasts dedicated to talking about this team is – Absurd. Just being real. Well, they're not hyped yeah. by the, I was gonna say they're not hyped by the media. Maybe it's some other, you know, outlets well, that's, or that's that's media. And stop letting oh, them right. And that's us too. Like if we prop them up, don't let us lie, bro. They're gonna let you down. Thanks. Um D- nasty man for the twenty dollar note of Tyler Tyler been injured for years. It seems like thought he shouldn't trade depth in the cold year. <laughs> <laughs> it seems as though the Heat should have traded Depp in the COVID year. I agree. But, yeah, uh, in terms of what Kendall was talking about, bullshit, I'm going to lie to y'all. I'm going to lie right to y'all face. I'm going to lie to y'all in a few seconds when we talk about this next topic, which is the Miami Heat's next game. So y'all make sure y'all paying attention, all right? So I'm some little brittle 14. Patty Mills is still a Heat killer. Yes, he is, brother. Yes, he is. Can we cancel Spoke contract? <laughs> oh, that nigga How dare you? Lottery for real. Yeah, bro, he won't violate. No, 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 don't do that. 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 Huh? You ain't got to do that. You ain't got to do that. Real, I will bro. say this. If he on that same bullshit that everybody else in that front office on, move, move his ass to the front office. Hell no. Get, that, no, get him no, no, the fuck no, no, up no. out of here. Get every bro. Got Brother. Will it happen? No. There's, I'm about to say, there's some places that I just can't walk with you. Do I want what it to happen? No. He is the least... Of our problems. I don't want it like, to happen. Bam is, Bam is the Bam is the least of our problems. Less than Spawn. Patty was inside the Absolutely. Hero Insurance. Then we see him in the starting lineup. No, he wasn't part of the of Hero Insurance. But you know who is a part of insurance? The basement and the primary sponsor of the basement, hey. Simple Health Advisors. Ladies and gentlemen, insurance does not need to be complicated. Make sure you email our guy James Pugh or give him a call today and tell him that the basement sent you. Email him at James Pugh, at JPU. That's J P O U G H at simplehealthadvisors.com or give him a call at 321 345 7738. Again, that number is 321 345 7738. We appreciate James Pugh and Justo for that lob. Thank you, Justin, for putting up our other sponsor, which is Aim High Hit Higher Enterprises. Do you have a prom? Do you have a barbecue? Do you have a party that you need lit up by exceptional DJ skills? Then call my guy Jordan or DJ Dynamite over there at, at Aim High Hit Higher Enterprises. 
Email them at jament at aimhighair.com or text them at 561-592-4146. Again, that number is 561-592-4146. My guy Jason Adabale pulling up one time for the one time with the 199. I don't know. He said, swap Jimmy for a top 10 player. Are we this bad? No, but if you listen to some of the Heat fans, they'll tell you that Jimmy Butler is a top 10 player uh, because of what he does in the playoffs, which is just a lie. I'm not even going to hold you. It's just it's just not the truth. Like, Jimmy Butler's not a top 10 player. We should really leave him out of those conversations. Like, yeah, just, just kind of, like, put it where it is. Um, next, we got the Cleveland Cav- Cavaliers. Jess, the girl feeling good? I mean, we did just beat them. We played them, right? That was, that yeah, was them. we played them next. We played them on Sunday. Here, uh, yeah, we played them in Miami, but we've I also mean, lost our last three games in Miami. Yeah, honestly, like the Heat have even defied like the home court advantage theory. It, it is yeah. we have done really incredible things. They're this like season. one <laughs> game over five hundred at home. <laughs> like, I, like, yeah, I would like love to see some more years. like stats on that because that is just that that <laughs> it's beyond me. Yeah. Um. This is a team that we could beat, but it's like I, I just don't I just <laughs> I'm, I'm leading that way. I, I'm I'm leading that way. Like th- this team, it, it doesn't matter where we play, apparently. So who is what Dean the- Wade? He don't even play for them no more. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> uh yeah, yeah. Uh things are looking the same. Get ready for some more uh Patty Mills, Cole Swider minutes. Um I think it's going to be a close game. I, I think we'll probably lose, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, Dad said, Darius Garland going for 60. I can't. Uh, Sung Jin Woo said, get ready for Niang 20. That brother was horrific last time we played him. Uh, by the way, Sung Jin Woo, I've been meaning to say, like, shout out to Solo Leveling, which is a nod to where your name comes from. Like, shout out to that. It's a nerd thing. Don't worry. It's anime, bro. Don't, don't worry. I know a little I bit. Got you. Do you know about Solo Leveling? No. Okay, there we go. But yeah, it's a dope ass anime. If you get a chance, check it out. Kendall, the boy feeling good? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas stink, bro. But it's and it's, it pain it 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 doesn't pain me to say it. They stink, they stink. But it's just like that shit, like playing into their hands, bro. It's like so these niggas stink on at home, right? Mm. <laughs> Sound like they're gonna have to go on the road in the player in the playing game, right? Sound like they're gonna have to go on the road in the first round. Never gonna have no 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 home court advantage in any series. Ah, just but when they play that, better on. You know who that, you know who that first round against though, Kim. I'm telling you, bro. But the, things haven't even changed that much, and I can't be the only one that's like, damn it. There's no way some miracle like beating the Bucks in a series is gonna happen. They yet. actually I can just... shoot the ball against the Bucks for whatever reason. <laughs> When they play them, they make threes. Like it's weird, but Jay Crowder became a sniper. They're, they're the so scared of Giannis. Ball. They're just like everybody. Just <laughs> that's crazy. But yeah, like, bro. Yeah. We gonna lose. I, I honestly, I think we're gonna win. I don't think Cleveland like is really that good without Donovan Mitchell. Ray, Ray, in your. Man, shout, out to, shout out the play, man. Shout out the playbook, man. We got a couple yeah, of boys. Them boys they boys said they, them boys said they is not doing no post game. No, space they ain't doing the post game space since the day. <laughs> they well, said them they boys came to watch that reel. They came to watch that reel, and I can respect that. Um, but yeah, I think they're gonna win, bro. Like it's the Cavs. <laughs> like I think Donovan's still out, right? Yeah, like as long as Donovan Mitchell not playing. They're gonna win, bro. Like to shoot the way they shot tonight, like that's probably not gonna happen two games in a row. And I think Duncan, Duncan's probably gonna show that he's actually a man, um, and he's gonna play. He's not a brutal little bitch. You know, he with his back specialist, like I think he gonna play. They said that oh, it was better than whatever. So I think they're gonna he gonna play. He gonna play. Um, hmm? Yeah, he gonna play. You think he gonna play? I think he is too. He looked fresh uh, tonight. I gotta give him that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you didn't I, have I'm to. Not, I'm not. I'm you not watching it. Master. Yet. <laughs> I'm not watching Master yet, but it's on my list, bro. Like I just just want to put that out there. They asking me about anime and things. 
<laughs> Y'all should subscribe to our. Oh, Snee got channel. traded. Who? Snee. Lejarius. Yeah. To the Titans. Hmm. For a third and a seven. I think that's pretty solid compensation. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. One of the better corners in the league. So yeah, like I, I like that. But yeah, uh, y'all should. Anybody who's into that anime shit, y'all should watch. Uh, subscribe to our Twitch channel because we're gonna start talking about some of that anime shit over there. We're trying to do like multiple kinds of content over there, so that's where you get a little bit more of the game and trying to branch out a little bit just from the heat because they bore us shit. Listen, we need something else to talk to y'all about. I'll be um, playing God in the coming weeks. We well, yeah, Justin was playing Among Us the other day. I was playing MLB the okay. show today. I wasn't on there. No, no, not Justin. 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 Oh, I heard playing, Justin. Okay. Oh, Justin was playing. Uh, Justin was playing uh, Among Us. I was playing MLB the show. What, Justin? <laughs> Why Just always gotta make it about here? That's all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if y'all noticed, but Just got haters like all over the base. Everywhere. <laughs> I would <laughs> literally if Just did just did a ten. A twenty month, a hundred dollar installment payment plan. I would literally be a just. And, and give the people the background on why you think I owe you two thousand dollars. Can you? It's not why you think that. You there's do. recorded evidence that you owe Kendall two thousand dollars, bro. We all I can, it. bro. If I can find it, I have a screenshot it. Uh-huh. <laughs> You owe him two thousand dollars. We all he literally him. made Where a is, whole help me bet out. Me. Help me out. You, you made a whole bet saying that we mean? were gonna lose game seven, and you how's Darius gonna help you out? Darius is gonna donate to this stream. That money is gonna be deposited directly into the basement account, which you have zero control. We should be doing the show. Uh, I'm supposed to be giving my predictions. He about to blow that shit out. Fuck is you talk about? Sorry, I didn't do it right, but they got me off balance with this conversation. Look, if Donovan Mitchell's not playing, Miami's going to win because Duncan Robinson will be playing. I think that is going to be one of the biggest kind of like relief moments for people or non-believers. If like if when Duncan Robinson comes back and plays for the Miami Heat and they are a decent basketball team again, people are going to realize how important he's been to kind of like the overall machine. I found it. it. I found. I found what you call it. Oh, oh share ball, you know. it's a bad ball. He said, I can't read it, but read it to the people so they know what he's talking about. Donating the extra 1k if they he become NBA champions this year. That was last year, okay? Okay, okay, but he, but we he, he we brought it down have, a little bit, yeah. Shax, we know your name, Shabazz share <laughs> brother. We keep a, a pretty good recollection of people talking about giving us a thousand dollars. Uh, but yeah, I think the Heat win if uh, Donovan Mitchell isn't playing. I think Duncan Robinson comes back, proves how important he is to this roster and why he is the starting shooting guard. And I don't know. I think you might see a shakeup in terms of like Patty Mills minutes. I think you're going to see them start to come back. Like they're going to scale them bitches back a lot because he can't play. And, and like he can't be a part of your rotation if you are seriously talking about anything uh, close to that. Uh, check group chat. Najee Marshall throwing shade. Najee Marshall throwing shade at who? Uh, that nigga played peppers. Who cares, bro? Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll get back to him. Um, but yeah, thank you guys in the comments as always for joining the show, making it much more fun than it would have been without you. Thank you to the people who showed up to the panel. Jess, sorry, you were just the pinata today. <laughs> of <Hey>. course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, acting, I'm acting like you don't get treated any people. better. <laughs> what you mean, don't lie to the people? Jess. What well, one he just said he gonna lie, but two, it. just you you started with me. <laughs> just you definitely started with me today. You have picked on me since day one. Okay? So what? But that like, don't matter. That has nothing to do with today. See, that's the thing about y'all. Y'all like bringing up old shit. Y'all, who is y'all? I you think see, I know. I just that was, just be careful now, because if you really want to go into history. Well, if you wanted to flip that, if you wanted to flip that bar on Kendall when he was talking about bringing up old shit, you should have been like old shit like that two thousand dollars that you still talking about. Must see that's what you should have, you know what I'm saying? Uno reversal. I'm learning. I'm learning. All right, it's okay. We got you. We got you. Thank this you. Is a, Thank this you. is an instructional process. We go through this together. But yes, um, you got me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I said thank you to everybody. Also, thank you to my guy Justin in the back on the ones and twos. Uh, he just moved to Brown, y'all. That boy good, huh?
We'll see y'all next time. Play the video, Justin. That's not the right video, Justin. That's My fault, gang. Oh.